When it comes to making that decision to get breast implants, it's really important to educate yourself. Learn as much as you can, not only about the procedure, but most importantly, the doctor performing the surgery. Board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Steven Weiner, he is with us this morning. He is one of the doctors you will find at a new image plastic surgery. He's here to explain his approach to breast implants. And I want to start with the safety because in the news recently, there was a huge breast implant recall. Talk a little bit about that and then also on social media some cancer associated with this as well possibly. Yes that's a hundred percent correct. Uh, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and last month uh, on September 19th the FDA uh, uh, recalled a certain type of breast implant. It was an Algren BioCell implant, which is a textured implant, which has been associated with a type of cancer that's not a breast cancer per se, but it's it grows out of the capsule that forms around the implant. Uh, approximately 99% of the cases have been associated with this type of textured implant, so the FDA recalled all of those implants off the market. Now, the question is, what do women who have those implants do? Uh, the FDA recommends that you really do nothing unless you have symptoms. Symptoms can be swelling, pain, rash, things like that. And if you do have those symptoms, then you should see a plastic surgeon to help evaluate what those symptoms mean. And some women have reported breast implant illness. What is that? Breast implant illness is an ill-defined term. It's more from social media, but it does exist. These are women who have breast implants. They can be in for a year, they can be in for 20 years, and they develop symptoms like fatigue, uh, joint pain, dizziness, uh, other memory loss and things like that and they typically will get these million dollar workups and nothing uh, is ever found. Uh, a large percentage of them do have their implants removed and some patients get better, some patients don't get better, some patients get better and then their symptoms return. So it's it's an illness that exists, it's ill-defined. Um, even this afternoon I'm doing a, a woman who's we're taking out her implants that have been in, in for 10 years. Is that going to make her better? I'm not sure, but if a patient feels it's related to their implant, then I, I would right. recommend removing the them. The bottom line, though, consult a, a physician immediately. Board certified plastic surgeon. Right. And yes. you have been on top of this, you know, the popularity of breast implants yes. for many, 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 many years. Let's look at some of the work that you have done. It, it's pretty remarkable. Breast implants are popular and women will choose them. And, and how important is it to see someone like you, a board certified plastic surgeon? Oh, it's extremely important. In Arizona, there's no regulation of who does what type of surgery. You're looking at women who have had children, have gotten a little bit older, and you can see how much uh, their breast appearance improves, uh, their self-esteem improves. Uh, it is an extremely popular operation. Last year, 300, over 300,000 women in the United States underwent breast augmentation, 150,000 underwent breast reconstruction with implants, so it's close to half a million patients. The number of patients who've developed uh, uh, anaplastic large cell lymphoma or ACL over breast cancer or cancer associated with implants has been about 30 to I'm sorry about 400 cases in the United States so far so it's a very very small number right. so it is an extremely safe product it is extremely well studied uh, but we don't know everything about it right but in, most importantly see a guy like this a board exactly. certified plastic exactly. surgeon thank you so much we appreciate that very enlightening we want to give you a special offer you will get a complimentary cosmetic consultation plus you will receive 15% off all breast augmentations, 15% off any liposuction procedure, and 15% off any mommy makeover. New Image Plastic Surgery, Dr. Steven Weiner. They are located at 7425 East Shea Boulevard, Suite 105 in Scottsdale, 480-596-6886. To book an appointment or visit stephenweinermd.com.